Hi, Pinkies. It's not. It's not. I'm Keita. <laughs> I'm right. And we're talking pink. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back to Talking Pink. I'm your girl, Rachel. And I am happy. I Yay. am beautiful. I am strong. I am powerful. I am confident. I am amazing. And I'm the shit. Just like my shirt say. Eh. Period. Eh. <laughs> Period. So. So. I had a little, uh, oh. little well, a little incident. Oh. And it just happened today. Oh shit! And that's about my shirt. So I, I, I wore my t-shirt to the grocery store. It's comfortable to the, to the, the, to the grocery store. The grocery store. Okay, thank you. Okay, thank okay, great. Okay. All right. So, and I was approached by a man, oh, shit. a strong-looking black man. Oh, okay. Tall, dark, and handsome, uh -huh. with a mask on. Oh, that's good. Okay. And <laughs> and he said, "Excuse me, ma'am. Excuse me." I said, "Hmm." And he said, "Um." I just want you to know uh, you can take that bottom part off your shirt because I think uh, women are more than that. You're 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 better than that. Not that you're more than that. And I was like, if I wasn't so hungry, I would engage with you. But I came to the grocery store to get food because I'm starving right now. But as I was shopping, I was thinking, what the fuck did he mean when he said that? That women are more than just the shit? Yeah, but the way he started off could have been different. Okay. Like if we if we are more than that, he could have said, "I think I you're. think you're beautiful. Okay, I, I think, think you're, you're strong. Seven, right. You don't need to have that on your shirt to say that. Okay. And right. also, he could have said, well, he could have understood what the shit means. Exactly. Every black person know what the shit is. Okay. And so I was like conflicted. I was like, okay, let me bring this to my girl, Rachel, <laughs> and, and see what she think about that encounter, that interaction. What's your type? I want to know what he looked like. <laughs> he was handsome. What that mean? He looked like he had a long arm. I, I saw, oh, oh. <laughs> okay. well, I would have engaged. Thank you. <laughs> um, so here's my thing. I would have said, elaborate. What am I then? What are we then? But you be hungry and sleepy, and those be the only two things in your, your, that's it. Tunnel vision. So um, I would have asked him to elaborate if we're just more than this. Don't tell, first of all, don't tell me what the fuck to do. That's where you started off wrong. I think you should mind your motherfucking business is what I think you should do. Carry on. <laughs> so so you would have went, you could have gone either way. It could have went e any type of way. It just depends on how much time I had uh -huh. and, uh, if I really wanted to engage with what the fuck he was saying, but I would have said, elaborate. What are we then? Mm -hmm. If we are more than, don't tell me what the fuck to cut off my shirt though. You could have said dot, dot, dot. And then, you know, had a put long your own, list a little blank. To, uh, wear your shirt that say women are what the fuck you want to say. And uh -huh. then carry the fuck on. Uh-huh. Right. Uh -huh. uh -huh. I would have, it, it just could have went any type of way. Okay, so me. I just wanted to bring that to you, ma'am, to see what you would have done in that how, situation. How you know what a man, if he looked like he got a long arm and I was like, what that look like? Because I've been very confused. I, I done thought I'd well, been to some who I thought. Well, I, I wanted to give you a, a description so because you, to me, not, that's what it could have been. You just tried to pull me in right there. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, that was engaging. Yeah, you know, you know, you can like, subscribe, share to that. Yeah. That's Talking, talking Pink. Pink. Oh, okay. Dot com. All right. Um, so. Yeah. Mm -mm. So what did you have going on this week? Um, a lot of lies, a lot of confusion. I still don't understand why um, this individual <laughs> is still trying to communicate. <laughs> you know where I'm going. Um, there's been an individual for years who's been trying to communicate with me, and I don't understand why you're still trying to communicate. The pinkies know who they... Well, obviously, you know that I am 
doing some uh, something else <laughs> in my life. I don't have time for these fucking shenanigans. And still, five years fucking in, you're still trying to communicate with me. And it's amazing. Like, you can put so much energy into this and not into himself or his family. How stupid is that? How stupid that's is the com- that? That's the definition of a fuckboy, Pinkies. It is. Do not engage with fuckboys. And this is they will fuck me- your life Period. Up. This is what brings me to this other point. So I got to a point. Uh, we had been in a relationship, obviously. And then I got pregnant, right? So I'm thinking in the back of my head, oh, my God, this is too much. I don't want to deal with this individual for the rest of my life. I contemplated terminating my pregnancy. My sister was like, bitch, please. I mean, she doesn't curse, so she didn't say bitch. But um, it took me so many years later to think, why did not just, why do women automatically go to, let me just terminate this pregnancy so I don't have to deal with this motherfucker, opposed to stop fucking with the motherfucker. You could, there have been plenty of times where I could have just walked away from the situation, from the relationship, period. You can change your number, too. I could, uh, yeah, I'm not doing that. I had that for 20 years. But <laughs> the point is, why would I contemplate terminating a whole life than to even not even get to that place? That life. Stop fucking with you. I could have stopped fucking with this person way before we got to the point to where we created another human being together. Because uh, you saw the signs. I saw the signs, but I was like, yeah, I can change that. She ran the red light. I, I, was, I was literally trying to create a, another individual out of this motherfucker. It's like you got some your dough. You see what the dough is when you pull it out. It's, it's whatever the same it dough. Is. <laughs> it's, it's, it's this right this form. Well, I can change it and create it and turn it into something. Not. I wasted my time. I, and, and and don't get me wrong. It, it did get to a point to where he did eventually find a, a good job. You know, find this and find that. But it's just like it took so long. And, and then, you know, that's not unusual for men. But why does it take so long? Why do I have to fucking cheer you on? Nobody's standing behind me cheering me on. Yeah, you got a job. You could do it. And that's why women are the shit. Exactly. But it was annoying. It was annoying as fuck to me. So I'm thinking all these years later, how dumb can you fucking be? You would rather terminate a whole life than to just stop fucking with a person. I just want women to wake up. Stop doing this dumb shit. Because women literally do this. And then now we got this fucking law in place. (laughs) Like, what is this law about? Who who made this law up? You know. The, the one on the skateboard? <laughs> like, who did this? Who said this shit? And well, how did it come to pass? Who was like, yep, I'm going to pass that. I'm on, I'm on board with that. I agree. Paddles up. <laughs> I'm with it. Like, like why? Well, we're going to talk about that. Okay. But before we do, because I have a beautiful woman here who I'm sure wants to engage in, you and know, and give her opinion right. on that particular topic. Pinkies. Come on. We have a beautiful guest here today. We do. An all natural, mm-hmm. all knowing, mm-hmm. beautiful black woman. All this is sexy ass. <laughs> thick ass. Yes. Vegan. Vegan. Pinkies. Yes, our pinkies. <laughs> <laughs> welcome, welcome, welcome to Talking Pink. Can you tell our pinkies a little bit about yourself, TJ? Um, well, I am thick-ass vegan. TJ, if you want to know me on the streets. Um, but don't don't come yeah, up, don't, don't approach up. Don't invite people yeah. too hard. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Follow on that thick ass. <laughs> Look, give me 50 <laughs> feet. You can give everybody a six. Instagram. Mm-hmm. Um, been vegan for about five years now. Best decision I've ever made. Um, it helped me just clear my mind. I just feel just uh, feel great physically, mentally, spiritually, just everything. So it was like one of the best decisions. I, I'd encourage everyone to uh, try it out, to uh, see if it can benefit you in any kind of way. Mm-hmm. Um, we had T Moss Lady come by. She mm-hmm. yeah, educated us on like. Uh, mm-hmm. <laughs> like she educated us like 45 minutes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for taking but, the time. Uh, You're welcome. <laughs> gifts. Yeah. All gifts. But hey, she gave us T Moss. She educated us. And, um, it's a lot of things that's all the benefits that that it is in Timos is in veganism. Mm-hmm. So I also encourage everybody to try it out once a week, twice a week. What a what is your why? 
Why um, did you go vegan? Why I went vegan was because um, I just got tired of being sluggish. Um, this may be TMI. I'm not sure how. Nope. Go ahead. Okay. Say it. But TMI, um, my periods were like really heavy, painful. So I just got tired of it. And I just wanted to know. I didn't want to put any medication, surgeries, or anything else in my um, in my body. So I just mm -hmm. wanted to just find another way. So I just slowly but surely started eliminating things out of my diet. And then I realized that it was the food. Right. Because the common, the common denominator of all illnesses we all got to eat so that is it's the food right so slowly but surely once i started eliminating things out of my diet my periods got lighter i mm -hmm. didn't have any more bad pms and it just and then just my, my skin cleared right. of course you get occasional break, breakouts here and there but yeah uh, for the most part you know i feel better and i would never go back never wow mm -hmm. so um i testimony i have been contemplating of making the change okay i uh my pinkies know that i work out almost all the time that's good but okay. i struggle with food mm -hmm. my that is like my addiction my vice mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and and that's you know what i go to when i'm feeling bad when i'm feeling good it don't matter how i'm feeling i hey i want me some fajitas and a margarita okay and <laughs> And I've been trying to change that. My family and I, you know, we, we've, we've tried. We went as long as three weeks. Without meat? Without meat. Okay, that's pretty good. But then we got lazy, stopped cooking, and, hey, can you pick up? Yeah. Okay. And we fall off. Okay. So um, we, I would suggest in that situation, um, right now they have, like, a lot of vegan options as far as uh, fast, more than they did five years ago so um i would suggest that and also they have like vegan meat now beyond meat they have vegan cheese now so whatever you would normally cook and eat you can still do it because right. they have so many options now because whenever i started i was struggling like mm -hmm. i was struggling but big do you time do these things do you do the beyond Meat? oh yeah oh yes i do beyond meat i don't do impossible because impossible has soy and i just me personally i just don't think black people are supposed to have like a lot of soy yeah. in us yeah. like that so uh beyond meat doesn't have any um um, soy but I do that I do the vegan cheeses I make my own cheese out of cashews so um, I don't eat anything that's animal at all like even fish I don't do none of that mm -hmm. no I think the so, only thing that I would miss is salmon but other than that I don't miss anything else right so yeah. I am a pescatarian okay when I started working out with keto going to the gym mm -hmm. um, our um, trainer trainer said two weeks only greens okay and water so mm -hmm. i was working out greens and water i lost 11 pounds oh yeah and you're right i felt incredible mm -hmm. i had super energy my skin was glowing and i didn't have the you know the sluggish the fog the, too yes. you're it's like, like you have clarity i, I had clarity yes. and it felt so great mm -hmm. but then it was getting harder and harder to find things mm -hmm. i would just pick all the the green vegetables that i knew and i'm just like this is, is, is okay. Boring. I don't know. It's boring and I don't know how to do anything else. I see mm -hmm. that you like to cook, though. Yes. Okay. So what do you suggest to people who do not like to cook? Um. Okay. Don't like to cook. I mean, because there's vegan junk food. You know, you have some bean chips here and there and stuff and popcorn and stuff. So, um... I'm trying to think, and they have vegan pizzas, you know, where you can just pop in the oven as well. They have uh, vegan, like, uh, microwave foods and stuff, too. But do you eat frozen? Me, personally, I try to stay away from it. But, you know, I'll indulge every now and then. If I don't feel like cooking, I'll just pop a, um, a Angie's pizza, vegan pizza in the oven and just and just do it that way. I mean, I'm not going to be, like, a pita. I'm not going to be like that. Right. Where I'm outrageous or I'm not right. going to just go overboard. Because right. I'm still human at the end of the day. Yeah. Um, but I try my best to stay away from frozen stuff and just try to do fresh. But if I have to, I'm not going to, like, I'm not going to, um, what's the word I'm looking for? I'm not going to stop myself from, right, right. you know, helping myself out if yeah. I'm lazy for one night. No. Do you do um, shakes at all? Um, I do. I do uh, protein shakes and I do uh, meal replacement shakes sometimes, too, if I'm just on the go. Uh, Garden of Life is a really good brand for vitamins, mm -hmm. shakes. Um, their vitamins, their skin vitamins are, like, really dope. So I mm -hmm. suggest everybody, if you're on, going on vegan diets, uh, definitely you need a good vitamin. Definitely. Okay, good. I, because I want to start doing these shakes. Okay. Um, so I bought this powder. Mm -hmm. I beet powder and um, Vega. I don't know. Vega the, or the Vega, protein. Vega, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. um, and then 
I brought a, a blender last night. I didn't. I didn't. I don't. Even, I feel like I don't even know what I'm doing. Actually, I, yeah. I feel like I have. You know, I I'm told tired her to get on Pinterest. I, I, oh, I, Pinterest. Hold on, I'm trying to. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to stop talking about it, mm -hmm. and I'm just trying to do it. So I bought these things, and I, and then I bought a blender, and I'm like, now what the fuck do I do? Like, I yeah. feel like. I feel like I'm a little bit anxious because yeah, I got all the stuff. But I don't yeah, know you don't know what to, to do. do with it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I would. Um, well, the vegan shakes. I think they're 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 good on their own. Actually, just almond milk. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, you can do some almond milk, some blueberries. This is my go-to: almond milk, blueberries, some kale powder. Um, bananas that I put like a little almond butter in there and just um, what else I'm missing something else uh, blueberries almond milk uh, kale powder that takes care of my greens mm -hmm. and then um, and what else oh and bananas and the almond almond butter um, and just scoop that in there and then that's my shake right there I just try to keep it simple it sound good though. it's really good it sounds simple but it's like I'm afraid that it's not gonna taste great and, and you I'm know what get, that's her, that's the problem with veganism though it's hard yeah. Affirmations. Yes. Yeah. I am strong. I am. Kind of <laughs> I am healthy. I am wealthy. It's just yeah. about doing it. Because at first I was so afraid of doing any vegan like recipes until I actually did it. I'm like, oh, this is not that bad. So is your mac and cheese really? Oh, it's shit? bomb. It's bomb. I wish you would have brought some. I will make y'all some. Because for real. Yes, I was I was just messing looking with at your Instagram and I was like, oh, that shit look good. Oh, that shit look good. <laughs> <laughs> oh, like, and I'm just like, this is kind of fucked up. Like, <laughs> but it's just like I don't have. I, I feel like I don't you, have the time or the energy to create. You do. Things. You. I feel like it's more or less. It's How intimidating. You to make um. At you, first, yeah. at first, it took me a while because you know you have to measure out stuff and because it's your first time making it. So, yeah. but as you get used to it, you be like, this is not. I, I know stuff. But like I, I know how to measure stuff like by my memory. Right. Um. But I think the hardest part for vegans is just doing it. Like if you see a recipe, just try it because it's not as hard as it looks like That's on what my paper. Said. She was like, Mom. Just yeah. Calm just down. do it. Because I used to be like, they, oh, my God, all these steps. Yes. I got to buy all this stuff. Yes. Like, no, I don't want to do this. When you, <laughs> first, when you first made the macaroni and cheese, like, how did you feel? Because it's no dairy. Like, I'm used to macaroni and cheese people getting these big blocks of uh -huh. cheese and then the milk. The and I don't, and right, I don't eat, butter. I don't drink milk at all. Yeah. I drink only um, almond, almond milk. milk. Mm -hmm. um, so the almond milk is like, when I see everybody use, I'm like, oh, great. Well, I have that part now. But it's yeah. like, what about all the rest of this shit? It's, um, so I use cashews as my base. Mm -hmm. And then I do almond milk, nutritional yeast, and I just season it with, you know, garlic, onion powder, even uh, paprika. Do you put carrots in there to give it the yellow color? Um, Honestly, the um, the nutritional yeast does that. So okay. I don't do carrots. I mean, you can if you have a nut allergy, but I mean, uh. I, like, I don't do carrots. That's, I mean, I'm too lazy for that. Yeah. <laughs> like, no. <laughs> I'd rather soak my cashews and keep it moving. <laughs> like, no. Uh -uh. But the cheese is actually really easy. So, so you'll like it. So back to the, the abortion law that we just uh, indoctrinated mm -hmm. in the state of Texas. Mm -hmm. um, Rachel expressed her concerns about it somewhat. <laughs> what do you feel about it, TJ? Me what? personally, I feel like, as I stated, um, I tell this to everyone. If I feel like if you have a dick, you should not be talking. You should not be making any rules for a woman because you don't, you don't, you're not, you don't have babies. Correct. Um, you're not in that position exactly. to make any um rules regulations on a woman's body um if you're pro-life cool if you're not pro-life that's fine too right like, everybody has their own reasons right. as to why they want to terminate or keep a child Correct. so i just feel like men should just stay out of it and it's majority men making these laws Correct. so it's just i just feel like it's just not right and i feel like six weeks i mean a lot of people don't even know no, that they're pregnant correct so i, I like, didn't find out until after six weeks and on both of my pregnancies actually that's, that's on purpose really started exactly. to hit me that oh shit exactly so pretty much in texas i mean if y'all hear raw dog and you might as well uh it's gonna be save gonna up be scary for get you that, that, that yes. savings account on. get your savings account and your um on get it get it but it's like up. okay if we if we're keeping all these babies mm -hmm. where the fuck are they gonna go because and that's my I, issue if i can't already you know take care of mm -hmm. myself barely or take care of the family that i already have mm -hmm. or this baby came out of you know wherever mm-hmm what am I going to, and, and I choose, I cannot terminate at this point. What am I going to do with this child now? CPS. But that's Am I dropping issue. this off at the fire station? And then what's going to happen with all these babies that are at the fire station? 
So my thing, my the CPS can't house kids. They, we this, don't have a uh, orphanage here. This is my thing. This is how uh, I've worked with kids who came out of CPS. Mm -hmm. They aged out. My stance on the uh, law is like there is a specific group of people. This is this law is made for, mm -hmm. and it ain't us. It ain't us black women, because mm -hmm. nine times out of ten, black women gonna keep. And we're going to take care. We ain't going to be happy about it all the time, though. Let's not. We, we know that, okay? Okay. We, we know. Because we ain't happy all the time. <laughs> <laughs> so this is for a group of people who are being eliminated by nature. Mm -hmm. And those people are white people. Mm -hmm. This law was made by white people, white men who have subjected their spouses, their partners, whoever they are, to understanding that, hey, we need to repopulate or we are going to die out. Because we just found out a few weeks ago that the white population is only oh, like 23% yeah. in the state of Texas. Texas is the second largest state in the United States. That makes okay. sense. Okay. And so if we, we got to do what we got to do is pretty much where they are. Well, that, 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 that actually, that actually you, that makes can't, sense. That can't go for everybody, though. It don't matter. But they can't discriminate either. Yeah. So that's They've been discriminating just... against all these other races for all these They years. have to do it subliminally, mm -hmm. okay? They just can't outright do it. Exactly. So they, they got to keep sense. some kind of uh, charisma or, you know, cool or whatever, you know, to, to make us believe it's for everybody. Right. So, I mean, that's just. So this is the I... one thing you start with? What do you mean? It's, 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 yes. It's, it's, it's not one. killing these I, I asked you to keep the baby, and you said no. <laughs> so now I got to go and tell people that you're you not trying to recreate or procreate, and I got to get everybody else on board to make you say oh, But yes. not only that, it's creating snitches. Like, I mean, <laughs> I mean like, Ubers, drivers, they can snitch now, and your mom can snitch on you. I need you to drop me off at a, the, in the law. Yeah. In the law, if an Uber driver or just regular vigilante oh, yeah. they can like they can sue you they can take they can take you to court and sue you if i tell if you if i to want drop me to, off yes they at an abortion clinic that person can get in trouble for dropping you off and then somebody can whoever can yeah. snitch on you to do that and they can sue you i guess for for what i don't even know why cuz all i got is this $300 for this abortion so i don't know what you're suing me for that's ridiculous i'm like why are you suing me for my body for my choice like what is it hurting you is that you know what you? drop me off at this gas station i'm gonna walk the rest of the way yeah drop me off at the wendy's i'm going to wendy's go i'm going to wendy's <laughs> <laughs> Like, I keep dropping these <laughs> women off at Wendy's and it's an abortion clinic like right across the street. I, am I, does that? I'm going, to, I'm going to Wendy's. Exactly. I'm going to get me wild. a burger and then I'm going to stop somewhere else. This is just so wild. Like it's just creating just too much and it's just, it's ridiculous. Yeah. Like I didn't think about it your way. Like it makes perfect sense. It's right. just that they just doing it subliminally, like you said, but right. mm -hmm. it's just still like, uh, I just don't like any of this. Like, Do you this have is any kids? Mm -mm. Do no. you want any kids? I want want kids oh, but why? not right now why do I, women always say i want kids yeah why i want <laughs> one so. you know one, one i always max. ask our guests who have who who have kids or don't have kids uh -huh. and when they say yes uh ask why um i would say just to you know an extension of yourself you know just yeah. extension here on earth uh when you're not here um I, legacy, that's what I would say. Yeah. legacy something like that uh, all of us don't have legacies, though. We create them. I on. mean, I don't. I know my family doesn't, but, you know, I want to create something so that way it can. I mean, know, be what I'm saying out. is what you say sounds so beautiful, but it's a whole bunch of people out here oh, who yeah. don't have no motherfucking legacy. But I feel like everyone everyone can create their own. You know, yeah. you're here. You're here on Earth. You know, you're here for a reason. Right, so yeah. I feel like you can create your own type of legacy. Uh, whatever you, if you don't have family like that, because I know my family, we're all over the place, and mm -hmm. I don't really talk to my family much. So mm -hmm. I want to, you know, create my own, you know, my my own legacy, my own stuff, you know, so that way, if whenever I do, Man. am ready to have kids. Yeah, I know they'll be mean. here, and they'll, you know, know. Okay, this is how my mom did, right. it, and be able to pass because I didn't have that. Right. So that's what I hope. My daddy made like sure it. his legacy lived on. <laughs> Uh, I'm assuming it's bad. She, she, got, she got she got a lot of siblings. Oh, okay, all right. That's lot. how my grandpa lot. was. He had he stopped counting after like the sixth child. <laughs> he was like, <laughs> and my my mom passed away. So at um when we were doing the obituary, mm -hmm. he's like, 
cut it off at six. <laughs> I was like, wait. <laughs> I was like, so it was like one brother that was like, you know, on the like right there. Yeah. <laughs> he wanted to be in the, the on the obituary. Yeah. He was just like, nope, like, cut it off right there. I was like, wow, you can't do Before that. Yeah, you know what? Because they capacity. <laughs> no, but they count they count words. You can only those obituary, those things cost money. But still, <laughs> he's coming to the they funeral. Do. Like, you can't just cut like, him oh, off. Oh, shit, there he go. He's here. He's here. <laughs> write him down. But I write said him. he wasn't going to show up. I felt so <laughs> bad for him. I was like, oh, my God. Like, he, you really were supposed to Imagine opening up that thing, and it's like, <laughs> where where am <laughs> I? <laughs> you give him the one where somebody wrote his that? name. <laughs> Everybody like, else, yeah. he just was not claiming them at, on, on that obituary. I'm like, fam, you cannot do that. Like, you can't. You did this. It was and it, look, it's what he and wanted. It, you know what? And it's 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 sad that that's the mindset of our elders. <laughs> yeah. Like, I mean, I would want my children to know almost everything about me. <laughs> almost. I say almost. 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 All I got to do is like, share, and subscribe. <laughs> and they can see what the fuck their mother is right here. <laughs> Listen, I can't say that my kids, you know, we got a couple of most subscribers this week. I can't say this. Those ain't our kids. <laughs> They're very, you know, very computer savvy. Uh -huh. So technology, yeah. They're telling me, you know, what's going on. My daughter's showing me all the time how to use my phone. Mom, you can do this, and she was like, "You're so I overdo whatever the fuck she shows but me." See, they have. And then she said, "You're so sponges childish. up here. <laughs> they got sponges up here. Any information, anything that that's out there, they can absorb. Yeah, that. they can, and they can keep that. But we got so much shit in our head already. <laughs> exactly. You know, we can't take no more. Trying to move over <laughs> to absorb some new shit, <laughs> but we'll back to what I was saying like you know I would appreciate it if my my mom my parents told me the truth right exactly and that's what I want to tell my children I, I right. tell my daughter you know little stuff here and there about you know how it was yep. when I was growing up yep. like hey you know I did this and this is what happened these yep. were the consequences that I, yep. I had to endure but I just need somebody. Oh, I, I wish I'd had that mm -hmm. when I was growing up because I could have stopped a whole lot of dumb shit. Same. I grew up with my yeah. grandmother, and they just didn't believe. I guess she didn't believe in talking to us about sex. They did. Yeah. About anything. About anything. anything. Oh. That's, I'm any, like, huh? that's any elders. They literally tried to shelter you from so any keep you fucking safe. thing. But I did have um, people that told me, if you want to have a conversation, you come yeah, 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 yeah. Me. So I want to be that same thing mm -hmm. for my own kids. Mm -hmm. And I feel like if they're old enough to ask me a question, please be old enough to receive this answer that exactly. I'm about to give you. And all the answers that I have, they're not, you know, 100%. You know, it's just the dumb shit that I've experienced. Mm -hmm. So these answers that I give to them. So I'm sorry that I'm crazy as fuck, but it is what it is. <laughs> oh, but some, we need that, though. We need yeah. just true honesty. doesn't matter how ugly it is. Right. Just the truth. Because exactly. Because I get, man, whenever I was coming up, I got tired of being lied to or not told everything. Because exactly. I told you to. You know, you yeah, say, like, like, I'm do it. Because huh? exactly. I told you to. That's not what why? they told me. That's not, that don't make sense. And then... I said what I said. Okay. I ain't mm -hmm. like, I heard what you else. said, but I don't understand it. It, it doesn't make sense. Like, so now I'm no. going to go find out what the other. And that's the thing that I'm we gonna explore. shouldn't want is because we ended up going to ask our peers, yep. who, again, don't know shit. Exactly. You know, who are lied we, to. I followed all my friends pretty much, you know, because I didn't have any really um, guidance. Of course, I had my own mind, but. Um, as far as like boys, sex and everything, I learned that like by talking to my friends mm -hmm. and everything because my grandmother did not believe in that. Exactly. Did not believe in talking to me about you I know, wonder any of what that. they thought they were protecting us. I have no clue. Not saying because she was popping pussy at fifteen, so Ooh. I don't understand. Oh, your grandma's popping pussy like <laughs> I don't understand because <laughs> I'm like what? <laughs> so you could have told me a lot of stuff. So exactly. I mean, yeah. what were you hiding for? So, I don't, I don't my, know. My it's, grandmother had eight kids and four baby daddies. So. Never made the same mistake twice. <laughs> she did. Or she, <laughs> she was. Times. I don't know how many is. I know my grandmother's here. She's always with me. Don't start um, that shit. She be playing with me. <laughs> don't start that shit. In my sleep oh, and oh. Um, if I go she. <laughs> <laughs> don't start that shit. I talk to her. I really do. Okay, I believe that. Okay. <laughs> yeah, uh, are you close to her? Um, yes. Okay. I am like the splitting image of my grandmother. At her funeral, people were like. Wow. Did that freak you out? It didn't freak me out, but it did everybody else. Oh, so you were scaring motherfuckers. So yeah, pretty much. <laughs> I, was, I was like the ghost of grandma past, I'm but like, oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> Burn it, Jane. <laughs> <laughs> Stay your ass over there. I love you. I love you. <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah. So, oh my God. So I I really believe that you know they they made their mistakes. Yeah. And um and I, I I'm understanding that now as an adult. I didn't right. when I was young because mm-hmm. my grandmother knew when I was having sex. Cause I go visit her and you know we talk and stuff, but it wasn't really like an intimate talk. Mm-hmm. It was on the lines of, "I'm gonna say this, and that's gonna be it." Mm-hmm. And she'd be telling me, "You need to stop smelling yourself." <laughs> that's ain't favorite word. Right. <laughs> Hold on. Hold on. I knew what it meant. <laughs> well, tell me but what it. Meant. <laughs> it means I need to stop being fast. fast. <laughs> How will I know if I don't smell good? But yeah, that's Uh, (laughs) you smell yourself. Yes. So Uh. those were those were my conversations, and then like five minutes, I'd be like, "Okay, Grandma, I'm gonna leave now," (laughs) because I felt uncomfortable. Yeah, but I didn't feel the shame. Like maybe they felt the shame for what they did, because you know back then there was more, um, I would say, traditional or more, I guess. You know, I'm not sure what with the four word baby dad. Traditional. Word. Well, well, I'm just saying, like maybe it was more. I guess she's had the four baby dad. <laughs> well, well, I, well, yeah. Was she married to all of them. She married one. There you go. Oh, oh, she, well, yeah, maybe that's a one. shame. That's a shame in that, and they don't just don't want to tell their dirt, so they just don't want to tell us anything because they don't want to expose us themselves. To, yeah, they don't. So. Well, not to really expose kids, themselves. Though, you, I think they, they like, probably don't want you out, to go through, through that. Yeah, they don't want to go live through that. So go this, through this is it. this is the why, the reason why I have the conversations that I have with my kids. I don't want them to experience life the way that I experience mm-hmm. life, and I ask them a lot of questions, and I know it annoys the fuck out of them, but I went through a lot as a child, so I'm like, hey, you good? Anybody touching you? Anybody saying something to you? <laughs> Don't let nobody do that. And they're like, uh, um, nobody is touching. Uh, no, when they get older, they'll think about that. They'll be like, me and my mom made it. sure. I, don't I know, they're going to protect themselves. I tell themselves. them that. Mm-hmm. I tell them that. Don't, don't play with me. I don't care what somebody tell you. Mm-hmm. Not to tell me. You tell me. Mm-hmm. So. Cause, yeah, because I tell them mine to like, if somebody's touching you, I don't care who it is. You I scream. Say anything that makes no, you feel No, don't touch me there. Right. Don't touch exactly. my whatever. Mm-hmm. It doesn't even have to be in that type of place, but anybody that you can be around somebody that makes mm-hmm. you uncomfortable, tell that to me. You know why? Because I'm going to make sure you're not around that person anymore. Mm-hmm. If you don't communicate these things to me, you're going to grow up. You're going to have this resentment against me. Like, you, you should have me yeah. up. You never fucking said nothing. What you mean? Yeah, because I tell mine, I said, look, if I can't anybody see you, that makes I can't protect boom, you. Exactly. Boom. So I need to be able to see you. Oh, to- I do this shit in public, out loud. <laughs> Get your ass over here. She has no filter. Because I don't. <laughs> and I am not apologetic about it because, again, we live in a world where people can snatch a motherfucker up and yep. y'all are at the grocery store together. Yep. Like Amber what, alerts all the time. All the, all the time. The time. <laughs> so I'm like, stay over here. Mm-hmm. I cannot protect you. I cannot run after you. Stay right here while oh, I can see you. It's a lot of sick people in this It place. is. And, so there, and then it's just like, Nobody's gonna snatch me, mom. Nobody's gonna do. How the fuck you know? Yeah, they're invincible at that age. They feel like nothing can happen to them. So, which is until a, it happens. And then, and that's and Hopefully. that's a, that's a, like a cash one too, or a, a, a gift and a curse. Like you know, you can be like all yourself, yeah, and not know all the harms that could possibly happen. Like you can, you, you're free mm-hmm. at that age because you don't know shit. You dumb as fuck. Yeah. Yep. But then, you know, if something does or, you know, right. something I don't want, I don't want around you to you. know something then. I don't want yeah. you to protect, protect yourself then after something happens yeah. to you. My job as a parent is to protect you and to provide for you and to educate you. Yep. I can't do those things, again, if you don't communicate with me. But if I I'm, think, too, back then, like, with them, like, they just, they brushed a lot of stuff under the rug. Right. Like, as far as, like you know, incest and you Correct. Know, child molestation Correct. within the family. As exactly. Well too, so. But why would you bring me around this same person who molested you? And that did not make sense because I had that in- incident happen mm-hmm. in my family. Exactly. And, same. And I'm just like, well, I was around this person. Correct. And why did you allow that to happen? Oh, right. So it just d- didn't make sense to me. So I verbally say, I'm like, either you're lying or... Or are you just a fucked up person? Because right. why would you bring another and child see, and around a person like that? What right. we talked about, the PTSD, D S D A B C. 
Um, <laughs> are you going to explain to our viewers what the fuck? So, she always talking about me. Like, I always bring up stuff. Like, I mean, I'm pro-black. And, you know, I'm I'm always trying to help my community before uh-huh. I do anything for anybody else. Yep, okay. yep, yep. And there's, there's, there's a doctor, Dr. DeGruy, who has, um, she's done seminars. She's written books. And she talks about post-traumatic slavery syndrome. Okay. Mm-hmm. And it's all the things that we went through or our ancestors went through that have carried on from generation, generation. to us. Exactly. Right. And so the traumas that we experience, we never healed from. Yeah. Correct. I agree. And so um, one of those things is having or being around somebody who mistreats children, mm-hmm. either verbally or physically. Mm-hmm. And we have, you know, I, even me, I have people in my family who've done that. I mean, I've, I've been a product of that. Mm-hmm. And we just don't care. We, 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 not, I'm not going to say we don't care. We don't take care in something like that. Exactly. Like, you don't shun that person. Like, their family, we love them, but there still has to be some type of boundary mm-hmm. Correct. that that person cannot cross yep. to Correct. take care of. Because you got... I mean, children are, you know, your, your, your children are having children and those children are having children Mm -hmm. and this person is still around. I mean, who, how healthy is that for anybody? I'm sorry. I'm caught. Are you going underneath the jail messing with mine? I'm sorry. I can't, I don't care if you, if you family or not. Right. Exactly. It's very confusing when, um, especially because it, you know, recently, recently in my family, it, you know, was brought out and it just was very confusing. I'm like, this is, I understand because that person is family. The person, the, the perpetrator is a, is a family member, but I'm sorry. I just, I can't. Right. I don't look at you as family anymore Correct. because you done something to my Take loved one and to your loved one. So Correct. I just, I don't see you as a, um, a perpetrator anymore. Exactly. I, I had something happen to me and I was trying to tell um, no, so what I did as I got older, mm-hmm. um, I had to be around this person again, and I would just stiffen up. And people know me as speaking my motherfucking mind. Yeah. So they're like, "Why, why Rachel have an attitude? Why she mad? Why she this? Why she that?" And I told them why. Mm-hmm. Your brother tried to do blah blah blah. I was twelve years old. I can protect myself. Mm-hmm. I have a whole baby now. Yeah. My baby is not around this individual. You got me fucked up. Yeah. <laughs> I don't blame you. All of y'all got me fucked up. And so what happened? Like what was when you told him that, what happened? So because I said your 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 brother tried to rape me at twelve. Okay. I was at home alone with him. Um, and he tried to rape me. And I fought. You know, even to the point where I squeezed my legs together so he couldn't press his pelvic. He was sticking his tongue down my It was fucking disgusting. And I was just like, yeah, I ain't doing this shit. I'm so sorry. But again, thank you. But as I got older, people were like, why you mad? Why you have an attitude? Why are you talking smart and blah, blah, blah. And I was like, oh, he just tried to rape me. That's all. I'm an adult now. And so I confronted him. Yeah. I don't know how people can walk around a person and just like, oh, like it's not going to be around. Yeah. Yeah. I confronted him. And I said, you know, I will never forget. And we had two very different, because obviously he didn't forget either. Mm-hmm. He was like, remember that time we was... He tried to play it off like it was it like it was mutual. I, it was mutual. Like it was nothing. It's like yeah, remember that time we was just like I was fucking twelve. You're disgusting. You're a grown ass man with fucking grown ass kids. You're nasty. You're fucking disgusting. That's and he crazy. was like, you wasn't twelve. You you was like, it don't matter. What? It, wow. it wasn't. So he really was trying to like to reason. Exactly. It wow. wasn't. It, and then he even shared it with his children. What? Are you serious? Yes. Oh, he's sick. I like he like, shared like the story of you two together. Wow. And I tried to get her and I couldn't get her. So, you know, I was like, he is sick. He's sick. I said, yeah, don't have my daughter around him. Don't have my daughter around him. That is sad. And then everybody was like, well, why do you have an attitude? And why are you mad? I said, OK, I already told you. So now y'all must be looking at me like something is wrong with me. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I'm good. I know ain't shit wrong with me. Mm-hmm. I didn't place myself in that situation. Mm-hmm. But then it comes to think like that's just you. And he he got it's away like with they're, that. Exactly. They're used to it. Yeah. So it probably happened to more than one. Did. And yeah. More than one. It time. did. And that's, it has. And maybe to. that it, it, it happened. So lucky. Like it happens to other family members. Oh, that's so sad. 
That's yeah, so sad. It did. And I'm like, no, I'm good. And my thing is, that. like, you know, those things happen. We try to forget, but we never do. No, uh-uh. I know. I and know. Part how of, do we heal from that? Therapy. There is, a, there has to be a Mine solution. Mine is confronting. If I say it out loud, that means I'm confronting this situation. That mm-hmm. means I knowingly, this is what happened to me. Mm-hmm. I'm going to talk about it. I'm going to tell you about it. I'm going to tell you how I, it made me feel. I don't, I honest, I don't, I don't think, Okay, so I've never been to therapy. Let me just say this. Okay. I know there's she, a lot of she trauma. She will be. I will be going, but okay. there's a lot of trauma that is in me mm-hmm. that I know if I say it out loud, it makes it true. There's a lot okay. of things that I haven't confronted within myself, within my own family. Okay. And I was just like, well, yeah, therapy might help, but I don't know because I it never will, did it before. I so I just feel help. like if I just close my mouth, if I just try to move on, I feel like I even have a brain that protects me. My memory is not the same anymore because it's like, yeah, we're not going to remember that. It does. It does. Your brain does um, protect you. But honestly, mm-hmm. I started therapy maybe like a two two or three years ago, and it helped so much. Um just getting just everything out um, mm-hmm. that I that I've ke- I've kept uh, bundled inside. Um, I've went through a lot of childhood traumas myself, and not understanding my traumas, it carried over into my relationships with friends, family, mm-hmm. boyfriends, um, and just relationships in general. Yeah. Like that stuff does carry on. So just by talking to someone, understanding it, um, just even understanding your life, because you know. I had a, a point where I was like, I don't even know what my purpose is here sometimes. Same. Where I'm just like, I don't know what I'm doing here. Same. And I spoke to a therapist and she broke everything down for me and just why am I why am I feeling that way? Now don't get me wrong, it took me to get a few therapists to get to her mm-hmm. because yeah. not all therapists are Correct. are yeah, good. I remember true. and I'm not trying to discount my people, <laughs> but oh I went to a, a black dude and it was kind of it was kind of weird because it's kind of like suck it up, nigga. Like that's kind of that's how I felt. <laughs> like, that's how I felt. I was just like, damn, like you not going under. You like, sound like the other podcast. Yeah, <laughs> that's, that's how I felt whenever I was talking to him. I'm like, yeah. god damn. So you not going to understand? I started crying. He just looking like, what the fuck is yeah. wrong with this bitch? Was like, he in training like, or something? I don't know, but I felt so <laughs> weird. And then the white lady, you know, everything's just like tragic to her. Like, oh my God, your so dad wasn't in your life? Like, you know, it was just, it was just overboard. <laughs> it was just overboard. Like, I felt kind of, it was kind of borderline racist in a way because it's just like, fam, like, oh, I yeah, mean, see that, that all of that, I, I need, that was, I need, that was I need weird. You to come. I need to get it out. No, yeah, you don't I'm like, be expressing it. Exactly. Anything. You don't need you to like to cry with me or like, right, you know, right. share an Oprah moment with me. Like, oh, just calm down. <laughs> So that, and then I went to um, this, I think it was like a, a Hispanic guy, and he wanted to talk about his relationship. I'm like, I don't want to talk oh about your ma- your it's woman It's not about issues. you. I'm paying you. Exactly. You listen. I speak. He's like, so for example, I took this girl out. I'm like, what? I don't want to hear that. So, and then I got to this lady. She was Middle Eastern. <laughs> she was Middle Eastern. Dope as hell. Just real as hell. Like, she was just, like, just real honest. And just, and I felt a connection with her. And I'll just text her, like, hey, I need to talk. And she's always down to talk. She's just more my speed. And right. she wasn't trying to insert herself. She's just more, more, more or less just listening what I was going through. But, yeah, you're going to go through some probably, hopefully you don't have to go through that many. But <laughs> it was a few. And I was just yeah. like, oh, my God. Yeah, like, it takes- well, until then, we're going to go to a break and we'll be right back. <laughs> I'm going to go potty. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> like, share, subscribe, rate, date, mate, plate, talk oh, and pee. Follow, follow us on all social sites. 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 Social On Twitter, Facebook, Instagram. Donate to our Patreon. There you go. Fucking donate, okay? Stop fucking inboxing, bitches. Just fucking subscribe and fucking donate. You want to make? Fucking donate, okay? So we can get this pussy. Welcome back. We're still on trauma. Now, when we left off, um... I was saying that well, you were having a conversation, and I wait. I want to. I want to start off with something uplifting on this second half. Oh, okay. <laughs> Pinkies. Well, I'm gonna go one day. 
<laughs> I just wanted to let y'all know or remind made you. It to the restroom. Yeah, I made it and I made it back safely. Thank you. You pee on yourself or something? Girl. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I had to ask. I'm sorry. Some water jug. <laughs> okay. I just want to say happy anniversary to my co host, Rachel. Happy anniversary. Oh. Uh, September 13th uh, is when we started our. Um, Studio. Exactly. <laughs> Say that. So this is the studio the version studio of Studio version of, of, right. You know, because we started in a basement, basement, you know. Right. So, you know. Of we, a 14-bedroom, 16-bath <laughs> home. Beautiful. In a beautiful neighborhood. But, you We're know. Not suitable for this type of shit. Yeah. So, I just want to say, you know, big ups to us. Congratulations. Talking pink. Happy anniversary, Cheers. boo. I didn't even wear a bra for this occasion. <laughs> She's out there, y'all. <laughs> In them streets, loose. <laughs> eh, 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 eh. Shake it like a salt shaker. Shake it like a salt shaker. <laughs> Put a table talk. Yeah. Oh my what is it? God. Titties on the table. On the table. <laughs> I got a couple of things up in the movie. Work. No, 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 no. no. Mine. If somebody, movie. Black Hand, you heard that? <laughs> she said that. Did that come in a movie? No, no. We gonna see not yet. Like some movie stuff. That's, yes. that's a porn I love video. To make movies, <laughs> but um, coming, coming in twenty twenty two. Coming, coming. C U M. C U M. Coming to a theater <laughs> near you. <laughs> but yeah, we made it two years. Hey, you remember in those days? I do. I remember those days. I remember being excited about Friday because Friday was the days that we went to go record in okay. a studio. And I just remember being so excited because this is the time that we got to get a break. Yeah. We yeah. would work the entire week. We have families. We would fly over there <laughs> and we would yeah. drink. We would talk. We would have fun. We would have guests. And it was exciting. It was really, really fun. And, you know, here we are today in our own, own studio. O-W-N. Exactly. Not the, not growth. the growth. The <laughs> growth. Um, like my hair. Um, I had a fade back then. <laughs> so look at me. Two years later, you know what I'm saying? Look at that. Look at that. <laughs> so what made y'all, y'all, like, start want to do the podcast? Like, is it something that you guys just felt like... Um, I guess something was a void in the podcast world as far as like your voices. No, we just would always have conversations and we mm-hmm. started this years ago. I mm-hmm. want to say four or five years ago, five years ago. It's been four. You sure? No. Cause Shorty was two. She's seven. So five years ago, um, <laughs> we, we, we were just having conversations at lunch. And so, and we know, worked together and we worked together and it was us and another young lady okay. and black hand was like, you know what? why don't we just roll this into a podcast? Because mm-hmm. the conversations that you ladies are having are conversations that a lot of women mm-hmm. and people in general are having. Yeah. And maybe somebody is not having these conversations back at them. Mm-hmm. Or maybe you guys can say something and it's like, yeah, I was thinking that, but I couldn't say it out loud. Yeah. But so. And it was never serious with us. It was always Ever. fun it was and always funny because we think we low-key comedians over <laughs> here. I don't think I'm funny. But that's when things come together, when it's just fun and it's organic. So. Exactly. Yeah. And this Many years later, you know, uh, one of our members obviously is not here. Um, and that happened before we got to studio life. But again, we just were like, well, you know what? This we is just how it's by two. How it's meant right. to be. This is or how it's meant as to two. be. This is how it's meant to be. So That's here so. we are. And, and also, I want strong. to say, hey, this women are shit. Women are not shit. shit. Okay, yeah, say that, say that, say that. (laughs) Women are the. She did say that. T H E. -E. Sometimes we can be shitty, okay? Sometimes, you know, you get what you get when you get it, okay? It's coming from our website, talkingpink.com. Yeah. Go buy some merchandise. Okay, so nobody can see what you. I think the mic. So you could just move the mic. Okay, I was like, is the mic covering? Exactly. (laughs) Exactly. Are you also sorry. wearing the tights? <laughs> oh yes, I'm sorry, I forgot about that. She's the she's, she's also she's wearing the tights that today. says uh, "Women are dog." No, downward dog. <laughs> oh, okay, she said "Women are <laughs> dog." Go from being the shit to downward. Exactly. <laughs> Warrior. Okay, move the move the a- arrow. Is there a W Area. in that? Where's the W? Is it is, is it? An it? Ooh. Okay. Ooh. See, that's a man. <laughs> hey. That's why women are shit. That's she all it is that. shit. I caught that <laughs> shit. <laughs> she caught that. 
So yeah, go go check out our website, get some merchandise. Always like, share, subscribe to talkingpink.com. We have a cash app. We got a TikTok. Um <laughs> That's your TikTok. That's my TikTok. That's our dance. <laughs> Cause they chop it up. I don't know. I don't know. My daughter gonna teach us. They gonna them girls gonna teach us some fucking dances. We're gonna get into this. I have not I'll, been able to get into one. I, you haven't? No. Like I'm they do all this stuff and I, I'm not be looking gonna, so cute. I, it, 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 but I'm I know like, it won't look good when I I'm, yeah, I'm like, <laughs> how you have time to remember all of that? Exactly. That's true. <laughs> that I would have to be looking at the video. <laughs> and then and then you'd be like <laughs> Yeah, Wait, see, I, I would right? tell on myself it just wouldn't turn out. Right. <laughs> it wouldn't turn out. That's we, all right. We're going to get it together. Top of our videos, put it on TikTok, keep it moving. Um, <laughs> yeah. But any hoozle, continue, ma'am. But you also have a podcast. Yes. What yes. is your podcast? Um, Thick Ass Vegan Podcast. Pretty much, we. I'm the only vegan on there. I'm okay. trying to have some more vegans. On exactly. so are you trying to convert? Why? Yeah. Are you <laughs> Are you that type of convert. vegan where you're like, oh my god, you're eating? I smell no, it. Oh, it's nah, making me sick. No, I'm you're not, not that, that type. type of vegan. No, I'll let you do whatever you want. If you want to come in here with some with a two piece, you right. Can go right, on, right on the head. Right. I, I don't care. Right. Um, I'm more or less, you know. Hey, if you ask me, if you solicit my my input, I will go ahead and tell you you what right. I think but if you want to eat your chicken wings go right on ahead like, right. I don't care um, but my podcast is pretty much consists of you know I give you a vegan tip of the day but it's more or less you know conversations like this mm -hmm. where you know we're talking about current events um, talking about you know just our personal lives and you know what we're dealing with and right. things like that so um, I just felt in the same way with you guys just wanted to you know put my voice out there and I felt like there were some conversations that was not being had right. that I didn't hear that resonated right. with me especially black women in general mm -hmm. in our age group as well so um, that's when why I started it and it's, it's fun it's pretty cool what inspired the name thick ass vegan um I got tired of the misconception that vegans are stick figures. Correct. That they just they eat rabbit food, that they just, you know, that just up and down. That's right. It. And there are a lot of black vegans in particular um, that don't look like that. Correct. You know, and, and, and I want to say, too, and this may sound racist, I don't know, but I feel like um, veganism has been whitewashed into where it's, like the face of it is white women, mm -hmm. and that's not the case because that's there's a everything. lot of right, you know, and that's a lot. There's a lot of um, black. The black community has come has um, contributed to mm -hmm. veganism a lot. Mm -hmm. You know, as far as um, food, spices, um, not spices, yeah. but re uh, recipes, everything, and a lot of no spices. Yeah, Sp spices especially. Especially, yeah. especially <laughs> spices. But uh, recipes in general, like mm -hmm. uh, we've contributed a lot, and I feel like we've just been kind of just as with everything, right? You know, kind of pushed back to the um, back burner on you know um, contri contributions to everything so <laughs> yeah um, but I, that's one reason why I, I chose the name thick ass vegans because I'm not a sick figure at all Correct. I have still have my, have my little shade you do and that and I want to ask a question that uh -huh. everyone wants to know <laughs> no just her I'm no, pretty I, sure. I, everyone okay, everyone wants right. to okay. know I do too I everyone do. wants to know the answer to this okay it, uh, there is a photo okay okay, <laughs> okay. and it says thick and then there's an ass, and then it's vegan. <laughs> is that your ass? That is my ass. Girl! <laughs> oh, my God. Make it my, clap. That is me. <laughs> Jeez. That is me. That is me. Veganism that's, is the shit. And that's what I want. I want people to just know that veganism, <laughs> you don't have to drop all these pounds and look like a, a celery. You don't have to look right. like that. You can look like a normal woman, have your curves, have, you know, beautiful hair, your skin still popping and still eat uh, a diet that does not consist of, you know, dead carcasses and stuff and, you know, and be healthy and be happy. How does your family feel about that? Is your family? Oh, like, they make oh fun of me all the time. God, they make fun of me all the time. Like, oh, girl, we don't got no salad over here for you. <laughs> they <laughs> they, they <laughs> always they oh, automatically sure. assume salad. I'm like, I don't want to eat that anyway. Exactly. Like, what are you talking about? I'm glad. I'm glad. I'm glad. <laughs> salad right. Anyways. I'm a pescatarian, so I just eat vegetables, bullshit and seafood. <laughs> <laughs> now the reason why I say bullshit is because I eat a lot of mm, bullshit. The same, but I don't eat here. meat. So people, when I, you know, they're like, "Oh, she's a vegetarian. She's a vegan." No, I'm not. Oh, no, I'm not. No, I'm not. And I and I say, "Look at me. Do I look like I'm missing anything? Mm -hmm. Like I'm not." It's a misconception. Like they think that uh, vegetarians like said, and pescatarians is 
is <laughs> exactly like white women, pretty much. That's where we automatically bring our minds to when we think of vegetarian veganism. Right. We think of white women, and that's not the case. I, I've never thought of a white woman when I when I think of vegetarian and veganism. I mean, but, <laughs> but no, I'm just saying, like in general, like you would think, like okay, that's like white people shit. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Like we, yeah. I do have yeah, a yeah, girlfriend yeah. who thinks like that. She was like, I got a girlfriend, and she, you know, this bitch is a vegetarian, but she fat. <laughs> she's like, she's a fat vegetarian. Like where they at? Like, <laughs> and I just keep saying I'm not missing anything, but if if this is what veganism looks like, I'm on my way. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I have to give it a try. I just I, I mean, and I don't mind trying it. Mm-hmm. And especially if she's gonna do it, I know she's gonna keep me motivated. She's mm-hmm. gonna stay on my ass, and this is something we're gonna do together. But I have about 20 pounds of belly fat. Mm-hmm. And it's oh, I just promise like you, you'll drop that quick. It's like, but, wait, but it's, she's, she's it's, concerned it's about the skin. I'm, I'm concerned about the skin. Like, okay. where Afterwards. is it going to go? Because I'm not a very active person. Gotcha. Um, I have a nerve condition. I'm naturally a tired person, and I okay. have a nerve condition. I take medication okay. that also keeps me tired. So it's like, when am I gonna have the time to exercise? Okay. To really move this fat, and I mm-hmm. keep telling them I want to go under the knife. I just want to get rid of it. And, you know, I feel like it's not cheating if I do that. I because don't, yeah, I don't have no problems with anybody going underneath the night. I just feel like, don't act like you've been in the gym, though. I don't like that. <laughs> Oh yeah, I will probably lie and People say get that. Some though. BBLs and they just go. I will probably like lie and say. I'm like, man, like, I know I'm. Mean, I mean, I'm a vegan now oh, and I'm yeah. working yeah. out. They gonna see that text. You, the you know the me. worst thing I hate <laughs> seeing on a video because I will be what? on my Pinterest. Okay, no mean? more shouts out to Pinterest. Uh, <laughs> Until I be you pay them. Exactly. Until you pay me. <laughs> and so I be like, I be seeing little bitty skinny girls doing workouts. I'm like, first of all, your form ain't even right. <laughs> Second of all, you ain't even got no muscle in that so, area. See, so why the fuck is you trying to show me how to do that shit? This is saying. what she sees when she sees people working out. Mm-hmm. Me, I feel like <laughs> you don't look like me. Mm-hmm. There's no curves on your little body. Okay. There's nothing you can show me. Yeah. Okay. Um, and I don't, I don't want to see. So my thing is, I don't want to be skinny. I've okay. never, ever in my life been skinny. Mm-hmm. Uh, so I don't want to be skinny. I don't personally find that attractive. I like mm-hmm. <laughs> thick. You know what I'm saying? That's why I was looking at that picture. I was like, oh my God. <laughs> but, stay, stay black. Um, <laughs> um, <laughs> but I, I like curves. So for me, the only curves I want, obviously, are my breasts and my ass. And Keto's like, oh, you work out. You're going to lose that ass. And you're, I'm like, wait a minute. This is not, you're not helping me stay motivated enough <laughs> now, if you to do continue cardio, to work out. You'll drop it. Like, you'll like, drop my ass. Cardio will make you drop a lot of weight. Everything fast. fat now, and muscle. What I would suggest is like kind of balance your cardio with your uh, with your weight, weight training. Weight, weight training. So definitely do that, but don't just do straight cardio because you're gonna lose everything. Because I did that and I was like, oh my god, hell no, I gotta eat. <laughs> I gotta eat some more to get my little. Where your picture my... at? Where you lost everything? Huh? Oh, because <laughs> it ain't on Instagram. <laughs> I, well, okay. My very first picture on my thick ass vegan page, I was smaller than I was now. Like I was, yeah. I was but you still had curves. Yeah, I still had curves, but I was still small, and I was never like that. Like never. Like before I even went vegan, I was never like that. Huh. So whenever I went, did just a shitload of cardio, I'm like, oh hell no. Nah. I said I can't do this. So I just stopped. I do cardio once a week, like ran a mile once a week, and then just started doing my weights, and then just stick, stick with my vegan diet and. I found what works for me. So, because uh, everybody is different. Yeah, everybody exactly. is different. So, you know, what triggers your body may be different from mine. And also, I feel like veganism too will kind of help you kind of leave um, leave those medications alone. Because if you're feeling like you're tired all the time, I feel like maybe whatever you're eating could probably be the, the trigger. Yeah, the yeah. trigger for that. Hmm. And that can kind of help you kind of wean yourself off of that medication. Okay, cool. Because I don't want to take medication. Yeah, we're not life. trying to be no sucker for no pharmaceutical no. companies. No. And I don't like how it makes me look and feel. I'm like, hey. yeah, cause you, <laughs> and they're oh. like, Mom, are you okay? Go She's sit like down, slow, go lay down. Mom. I'm like, uh, um, just, y'all need to go lay down. And I was like, oh, you're so nice right now. <laughs> you're so nice. Are you going to sleep? <laughs> Are you going to sleep, Mom? Just go lay down. Just go sit down. Oh, my gosh. She, she watches me while I'm in the shower because I've fallen before. Oh, no. And I don't know what contributed to me falling. Mm-hmm. So she'll be like, I'm just going to stay in here. And I'm like, girl, you ain't going to help me. Do <laughs> <laughs> I thought we both out of right. here. <laughs> and her sister just be on her phone or whatever. Um. <laughs> <laughs> in in your are you in a relationship? Um, 
<laughs> it's always like a, it's a situation ship. I want to say. Thank you. I want to say. It's, it's a of, thing. I, it's nothing like a I think you coined it. Okay, hold on. But is this person also a vegan? Nah. Nah, I mean, I can't. I'll cook for that person still, like regular stuff. Oh, okay. they have I can't cook two meals. I'm they sorry. have the taste tested, Damn. but whenever <laughs> no, when with that person, um, they'll try my they'll try vegan food and they don't mind. I mean, I, I cook it to where they can eat it, like mm-hmm. not where it's like a pinch of salt and they're like, uh uh-uh, uh, what the fuck is this? So, <laughs> no, but I cook and they eat it, so they have no problems. But if they want to roll, you through, sound like the perfect person to be in a relationship with. Thank you, I think so. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. I think so, but hey, ask her. Don't ask me that. Ask okay, her. And ask her. Like to ask our guest today. <laughs> so yeah, what, you guys. Yeah, what's your, um, what's so your where stuff? can they find you <laughs> if they would like to see your podcast? And um, like, where can they find you if they? Would I would like- say. This. I would say this: if any of us here is dating, it's hard because. I don't, and I said this on my last podcast episode. I don't understand the lies. Like I don't get it. What like, do you mean? Like just why would somebody lie? Lie for about just what? For, for no reason. Anything just about anything. Like about um, okay. For, for example, did you leave the toilet seat up? That's, <laughs> that's, that's a lie, but I can I can deal with that one. But just like okay, so um, I was talking Ooh. to this guy, mm-hmm. and um, I was at his house, mm-hmm. and it was like a sock, like a, a just a random sock. Okay. It was, don't say it, what I think you it was a bitch sock. It wasn't. It wasn't because he tried to say, "Oh, it was my god god's daughter's ch- uh, sock." I'm like, "This is a grown ass woman sock." Yeah, it's a, it's not, a big foot. It's, it's a size a, nine through it's twelve. A size that I will wear. So it was a sock. I'm like, okay. He told me that. I'm like, all right. Let that slide. And this is a guy I've just been talking to. You know, we're trying to get to know each other. And then he just moved into his place. So mm-hmm. I mean, and he took him a long time to figure out whose sock it was. I'm like, you just moved in here two weeks ago. What wow. the hell? So it just didn't make sense. So I let that slide. And then um, in his restroom, you know, I'm brushing my teeth. We're just brushing our teeth, and I'm seeing, you know, he picked up toothbrush, and I'm like, okay, I thought the toothbrush on this side was his. He picked <gasps> out another one in the on a whole other bag, and I'm like, okay, <gasps> is this so, your house? That's how I was confused. I'm like, okay, so. No, his house. It's that's his what, house. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Moved that's it, what yeah. I'm saying. I'm thinking in my head, is this your house? Yeah, and so I asked him. I'm like, oh, so who two brushes this is? Took him like one minute to like to come up with an answer. Like, oh, that's my god goddaughter's again. I'm like, it's not like a little Disney toothbrush. It's like a grown woman toothbrush. So I'm like, okay, something ain't right. So um, he left, and then so he can tell. That's like, you that by not, yourself? No, well, yes, because he had to go to work. Okay, and I was okay. there on vacation. Okay. So he left, and but he can tell I was kind of irritated because yep. I'm just like, this. I mean, why sense. lie? I right. mean, we're not like we're just getting to know each other. Like, Correct. if you have yeah. a situation, let me. That's out. cool. Like, it's fine. Like, right. who knows? I may still give you the pussy still. Right. Like, who right. knows? Exactly. Like, so that's it's just I'm, I'm, that's just, I'm doesn't it doesn't make sense. So I told him like, you know, hey, you know, if you got a little situation, hey, it's cool, whatever, you know. Um, you know, just tell me, just be open and honest. Like, I'd rather you just be honest. About exactly. It. And he's like, oh, no, he's trying to prove it. He posts this girl that's like damn near his age, talking about that's his goddaughter. I'm like, nigga, you were the goddaughter at two? Like, what the hell? A God- Godfather at two? How does that happen? Like, how? <laughs> so it was just so weird. I was just like, okay, whatever. And then, uh, then like he's going way too far to way cover too a lot. Far like to cover, and I'm like, what? Like this girl is like damn near your age, and right. that's your goddaughter. Like right. shut the fuck up. Like right. it was just, it was just ridiculous. So it just did not make sense. I don't like the. And I, the- I get it. Uh, when you said that, you know, just be honest and open Correct. with me. Correct. What men don't understand is that. If I mean they don't know the mind of a woman, mm. correct? And they feel like they do we though. We don't know what the fuck they be thinking, although they're simple as fuck. <laughs> but if you just say, "Hey, look, this is what I have. This is what I want. Are you accepting of that?" Period. They Thank never you. know what the fuck our response but is going to be, it, but they always assume no. But it just that it's going to be what they think. Men. Some men have dealt with women. That have went all trauma. the way left. Yeah, so men have their own little trauma. Mm-hmm. But you're continuing to add to the trauma 
when you put me in that category, them other bitches. But wouldn't you want less drama and just tell the exactly. truth? Exactly. Like, you wouldn't no, but they feel like they're going to be missing some pussy. But I don't know- want to miss pussy. I don't want to miss time. I don't want to miss meals. I don't want to miss FaceTime. more like, player if you just keep it real and then no, she still want to fuck with you? That's exactly. Like, and that's I, and, I, I, and, I, and I, that's what I've appreciated. I've dealt with men that are like that. And mm-hmm. that's what I appreciate. I'm like, please tell me the truth. Mm-hmm. My baby daddy was the first person who told me the motherfucking truth. And guess what? I never caught him up in no shit because I was always told the truth that when other women met me they were like oh wait ain't ain't that your baby mom and i'm like hey yeah come on i I remember this one time i was at my baby daddy's house and i was pregnant pregnant Mm -hmm. so i spent the night and i was just there um uh, we gonna ask that question later um i spent the (laughs) night I, I, i spent the night and i was just there but when i was pregnant i like to sleep nude Okay. And so I'm like, um, you know, I'm just pulling some panties because somebody's knocking at the door, obviously. So I'm gonna, I went to go open the door. I open the door, and then I walk back in the room. I don't give a fuck what is about to come through the goddamn door. I uh, lock the door because I'm here by my fucking self. Okay. And so then I go back and lay down, and then this girl freaks out. Oh my god! Oh my god! You have a woman here. You brought me here, and he was like, "That's my baby mama." And she, she's like, "Oh my god, you tripping?" And he was like, "No, no, no, but she not tripping." And I was like, <laughs> I, and I was like, girl, I don't. Look at me. I don't give a okay, shit. Okay, so was he honest with her? And like, hey, you know. Hey, that's the thing. I don't I don't know. Well, that's what I'm saying. Like, She it, probably couldn't accept that. It doesn't sound like she saying. was like like notified of everything. Correct. That's what it sounded like to me. Correct. She probably was notified. Hey, I got to buy my mama. But the bitch didn't know she was walking he, in and yeah. she was gonna be, I was going to be at the house. Yeah. So he probably felt that he could only be honest with you and, and not her. And everybody else. Right. I don't know. Who are more honest, do you think? Men or women? Need men? <laughs> okay, I think I'll be that's on my ass. Out. <laughs> I'm like, go lie. I'll be honest. But see, I think we, women are better, better, liars. Liars. Better, yeah. liars. Better, better liars, better liars. But who is more honest in general? Oh, I think women. We are. We're more honest. I don't like you. I'm yeah, not we're very you. honest. I don't know. You don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, I mean, you can catch a man in a lie like that. You can catch a man in a lie. But, but I'm saying who is more honest just because women are caught in lies don't mean that they don't lie. My my husband is more honest now. <laughs> but like 10 years ago, if that motherfucker was a lie. You don't this goddamn question. <laughs> um, I'm just saying, I don't know. Because you still lying? I do what you saying? I don't know. I'm not lying. <laughs> I only lie to certain people. <laughs> you know who you are. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> I think, I think, um, I honestly think women are better liars, but, um, I think men are more honest. I think women are. <laughs> I think women are more honest. I the person like- making all that goddamn noise, <laughs> she didn't even, even answer the question. Didn't even choose Thank you. Men I think, are more honest. I think men are, I think men I think they're are forced honest. to be more honest. Yeah, I feel like. Because they're caught in a lie? Yeah. 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 Yep. <laughs> so did, or I, or did you maybe. fuck her or not? <laughs> Just be honest. Just because she's sitting here, you're not going to answer, did you fuck her or not? Because we already know the answer. Exactly. <laughs> did you fuck her or not? But I but I like when I when I have asked that question and I've been given an honest answer. Yes. I respect the person so much more because I, I can personally read the body language already. Mm-hmm. So I just want to see if you going to tell me the motherfucking truth. That's, yeah, that's every woman. Babe, did you, did you fuck such and such? But, but then women get carried away and they feel like because they've been given the answer to one. I, okay, How let me just say me. I, I, I've, <laughs> I've got carried Personal away. Because I, yeah. I will ask, so the girl who uh, <laughs> did this or the woman who did that, did you fuck? It's, it's, it's too I much. mean, we might as well go ahead and just, uh, go ahead and play but, 21 but, questions. But I, right no, I, but I feel like that's unfair. Mm-hmm. I, if I'm already, because my thing is a situation ship. I uh-huh. used to say I was in a, I was in a fuck ship. But fuck ship is giving homage to fuck boys. Yeah. I'm not with a fuck boy. Mm-hmm. It's, this is a whole situation ship. We've mm-hmm. literally gone through shit. Yeah. Um, she refuses so, to say the R so word. So I, I refuse. I won't say the R if word. If it doesn't feel it, I mean, why? I'm not going to call it that. If it doesn't feel like one, like uh, like our actual relationship, I'm not going to call it that. I mean, she understands. Why do I need to? She understands. I I <laughs> won't. I won't. Um, it's it's not that it doesn't feel that way. It's just I I. It's to been me, four that's, years. That's, that's, that's four too, years. That's, that's been two. You four years. You a motherfucker. <laughs> bitch. You still won't say it's, the R it's, word. It's, okay, listen. Because to me, that's I don't like labels. <laughs> okay. I don't like either. So, so, so do you so, believe in marriage? Okay. 
Mm. I don't. I don't. I don't believe in marriage. Mm. I don't either. I've never experienced. I, I don't believe in marriage. I don't at all. I've never. Wh- wait, I hold don't. on. We know why you don't. <laughs> why don't you? Um, I don't believe in it because a, it's just like it just feels. I feel like why do I have to have a ring? Why do I have to? Um, go to a court. Why do I have to put anything on a piece of paper to prove that I am with you and that I am down for you? Like, Correct. why do I have to do that? Correct. And then, well, you really don't in Texas because it's a no, but it's uh, a 50, common law. Yeah, common law. Right. But you know, and then on top of that, when if you're not happy, why do I have to go through all these you know hoops just and to leave? Just to leave. Exactly. I've had friends that had to go through a lot of hoops in order to get rid of someone. Exactly. And I have to spend money to get rid of Fuck you. Fuck you. Hell. No, nope. like, I'm, why would nope. I need to do that? Nope. Like that's crazy. Don't you be like, and then on top of that, I feel like too, because I've dealt with some. Not saying that I've like, you know, I'm not proud of it, but you know, married men, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. and they are. It's just, it's very interesting. Like their questions, I ask them like, so why don't you just leave her alone? Like why don't you just divorce and leave? And it's only because they don't want to split up their assets or whatever. It's cheaper to keep her, and it's just like. It's just, but is it also cheaper to fuck with me on the side? Exactly. So I'm just like, yeah, it, it just doesn't. Yes. It just doesn't make sense. I'm like, well, why don't you just like leave and just like you know let her find her happiness? Because obviously you're not happy. So why don't you just like do it that way? And, you know, I just have conversations with him because I'm like, I'm just so curious as to like why. Right. Like it doesn't make sense to me. Right. So why do I need to get married in order for you to feel forced to like stay in this type of I relationship? Just, I just want because the life of Bible insurance. and whatever. I want the life insurance. You can insurance still get life insurance without anything. marriage. Else that's you do- can. Yeah, if, if you're the you, beneficiary. If they, exactly. you can put it on a will, there's well, a will. sometimes if you're not on the beneficiary mm-hmm. and you're not married, you mean okay, then, you're not there. Then I understand that. But then that means y'all need to get all y'all stuff in line and get all that stuff And then that, that's a conversation that leads into, hey, why don't we just get married if we don't, I don't go through do all, all this? That. Like, I don't, I don't, do I don't wanna, I'm not doing that. And Keita I just, all, always told me, well, you can get all their stuff. I don't want their shit. She what the fuck am I? What no the fuck am I gonna do no with problem. all that she shit? She don't want none of hey, that. Hey, if you want to leave, I feel like this. You can sell I, it and get money if that's what I she mean. That's to do. cool, but I mean, I've been on my own since I was fifteen, so right. I'm be all right. Like right. you know, hey, if you have kids with me, just take care of your kids, leave something for them. Right. But you don't have to do anything for me. Like right. I'm, I'm gonna be all right. I don't, I don't want to be. I, I guess I don't. I've never um, had a a true. I've never seen truly happy married people growing up. I've Same only here. I've only seen people pretending. Yes. Just like going to church, you faking mm-hmm. cuz Monday through fucking Sunday, you turning up, showing ass, everything. <laughs> like it's it's just like it's faking. So, you're faking. Oh, there's a family function, we got to go together because we together, you're faking. Mm-hmm. I don't I don't want to see that. Mm-hmm. So, I couldn't to me, I don't want to pretend. And then sometimes you feel like, do I even deserve this individual and all of these things? And then it's like, I got to deal with all the stuff that you also come with. Mm-hmm. You can't take, you can't not when you're married. Mm-hmm. And sometimes people don't want to. You can't be not what? When you deal married. with all this stuff. When you Like you said, if you get married, then if they die or something, you get all their stuff. You get their property. You get their um, they they accounts, but you also accumulate debt. their debt. Mm, that's that's debt, and that's, that's something true. extra that I have to pay for. I don't want that shit. I'd rather just keep it separate. I don't want that shit. Like I feel like, and then I also feel like it's low key slavery. Mm. You brand someone, they're giving you're they're giving your name. You know why marriage was created? It was created by a white man. See what I'm saying? White man, a rich white man. You, what are you doing this to? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you about to leave? <laughs> All right. <laughs> I'm about to leave you with some tidbits. <laughs> so it was created by rich white men uh, to show ownership. Correct. See? So the same so, thing. Yeah. So, the, of course, the ring meant that I own you or you're owned by somebody. Uh-huh. And like you said, it is comparable to or comparable to uh, slavery. Right. So men own women in that sense. Of course, you know, that's why they got the whole bra burning thing. Bra- yep. So, yep. So, yeah. So you, you see where that all that stems from. Right. So they're considered as property as well. Correct. I don't want to be anyone's property. And I, I don't want someone to feel like they're my property. 
I just now I nobody. own you. You own me. Now I got to do what. Now I got to do what you say. You got to do what I say. We got to be submissive it to is. one Prove another. Prove me wrong. But it's but I feel like it's even deeper than that. I just don't want you to feel like just because because um, I, I know in our community. It's more religious, right? It's something that you do. Because I asked a guy. And I'm not really. A, a guy had a, argued me down. Argued me down. Was just like, hey, so why you don't believe it? I'm like, because it just doesn't make sense to me. Right. Well, I'll say, well, why do you believe it? He right. was like, well, that's because my family. I'm like, well, no. Why Always do you believe it? Exactly. Not, not your family. Exactly. Why do you believe it? He's doing oh, something because that it's because it's in front of God. I'm like, okay, I definitely understand that. But I mean, if God's with you, period, and just right. everything you do, right. Then a ceremony, a expensive wedding, you putting your name on a on a contract, whatever. You should not dress. have to. You can be in a pretty. You I, can I be can in a pretty a, dress. A spiritual you, ceremony you wanna, will you work. Wanna go, you want to get dressed up? <laughs> I went to court. I still gotta have my pretty dress. You though. can do a spiritual ceremony where you know, hey, we're it life partners, and if hey, if anything happens, you can go your separate way. I go mine. We still, I still want you to be happy. That's Correct. how I feel. That's how I feel. I feel like. If, if you're with me and you're not happy, please leave. Yeah, because I don't need and all that. if I'm not the best person for you, mm -hmm. why are you suffering? Exactly. And that's how I feel with the, the, the married men that do approach me whenever I do ask them, like, why? Like, I'm like, you know, what was, like, why, why you just won't leave? It's just like they have this in their head like or of course they give you that oh I'm, I'm separated they're not exactly um they're i mean they're never gonna leave and i and i have friends that are dealing with that and i'm like they're never gonna leave so yeah. i mean what's the point but it's just like i asked them like well why like it's just like you're holding someone back from mm -hmm. you're being selfish pretty Correct. much right you're being very selfish right. right now because that person that has probably has no clue what you're doing and she's probably thinking that she has a perfect husband, and she don't. Mm -hmm. Right. And it's just like, you're not being honest about it. Like, you're not being honest about none of the situation right. at all. And, to and it's unattractive, too. I'm like, I can't even my deal with you. Get wet for that. Right, like, no. right. And it's, I'm sorry. Because <laughs> you're a liar. Because you're a liar. Sea moss can't you don't help you. You don't, <laughs> you don't like, even know what he could be telling you. Exactly. It to be true. She yeah. could think she got the best man in the world. Mm -hmm. He's so faithful. He take care of the family, blah, blah, blah. But you sitting over here selling me some bullshit. And it's, we've been unhappy for years. No, you've so been unhappy wild. for years. And like, then you goes, don't know nowadays. People are crazy. Yes, what they are. that woman no, finds out? And Because I, I, I literally told, because I didn't even know this guy was married until I seen his family. I'm like, that ring was not on your finger last time. He's like, yeah, it was. I'm like, no, it was not. Right. It was. I didn't even pay attention because I was young at the time, so I didn't yeah. know about the ten. Right, yeah. and I was just like, "Oh my gosh, so this this woman can pull up on me at any time." Because right, you know, you women, your life in whole danger. Exactly, yep. you put in my life in danger right. whenever you're not honest. Right, so that's not right either. It's exactly. just like you're putting so many people's lives at Selfish. danger. You don't know what this girl is capable nope. of. She probably just unhad it and just you know snap like the like the women on that TV show. Yep. And exactly. I ain't trying to be a tragedy. I have exactly. a confession. What? I was a mistress. I think we probably all have once and once and once. And I knew it like from the gate. You was you were a mistress. What is a mistress? A side hoe. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for trivializing it. Like when I first say it for the pinkies to understand, bitch. We don't know. What <laughs> mistress I was, is I not was a, a side term. chick. I was okay. a side <laughs> chick. God Thank damn. You. I wanted to be close to being an MRS, but damn. Thank you for taking that away from me. Uh, yeah, so um, when I first moved here from Houston, to Houston from Mississippi, yeah, my the first person I met was a man who was married. He had been married for like three, four, or five years, mm -hmm. and he told me up front. I was like, "Okay, I'm looking for a sponsor. That's cool." Oh my god, I don't. But mind. you know what? There's no responsibility with that. Though. Exactly. Like they go home. You don't have to walk. Just I ain't got. Home. Yeah, exactly. Tell my story exactly. in a minute. Exactly. Like, they, I mean, they don't have to call you at night. Like that's perfect. The benefit was great for yes. the both of us. Yes. I think. But then I fell in stupid. What is that? I fell in love. Yeah, that's where you messed oh, up. Oh, I ain't never. Yeah, yeah. I, did, I, I did. I did that. I did that. I did that. I never did that true. shit. No. Nope. And yeah, so I wanted more, and I wasn't gonna get more. And um, and it took me, me a while to understand that I wasn't going to get more. So it took me like three years. Mm. Are you fucking serious? Oh, you had feelings you. for him. Get the fuck out of here. She, ha she had feelings. That's you. why. She had feelings. Okay. That's why you leave feelings at fucking home. <laughs> Young, you go play, go dumb, play. <laughs> and full of cum is what I was. <laughs> okay. So it, it took me that 
amount of time to understand that. And Three then, years? But she had how many feelings. Times you got? She had feelings. We uh, all that's why I don't I had, that. It took no, me three saying, years to all... check my feelings, okay? It took me three years to check it. So when I realized, like, oh, come on, this ain't this ain't for you. Um, I was like, okay, you know what? Do you, I'll do me. And it was nothing like verbally that we agreed upon that that, that was gonna happen. It just happened that way we never like said okay this is this is, we're through this is done yeah we just went Psh. did he catch on like that you were getting feelings and kind of like, oh yeah i, I told she him she told him okay i told him <laughs> <laughs> like, did he get freaked out I, like oh shit nah i mean I, I think he was receptive to it, like yeah i got her like but i don't know if that's what he 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 thought yeah but that's what my perception was that he did and so um after that it's like um I got one, two, three boyfriends now or people that I'm dating now. Right. I'm not solely into you. And the reception of that was hard for him. Well, go home to your wife and then <laughs> tell her why you sad. And so because I was in stupid. Uh, oh, you like that shit. I was oh. trying to be soft and compassionate. Oh, get the fuck out of here. <laughs> That's why I took your ass so long to fall out of love. <laughs> but, but no, we all fell victim to like no, that shit. No, no. Like, we all have. Yeah. No. We all no. have. I'm not going to lie. Okay, all, I got digmatized. <laughs> Thank you. So she understands now. Okay. <laughs> she understands. I know, because I got it. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, we're in the beginning of the motherfucker. <laughs> but that was a whole 20 years Oh, now. my God. <laughs> I should have left a long time. <laughs> what you wanna eat? <laughs> <laughs> no, don't be kissing me on my back either, cause you know. Okay, but anyway, all married men, go ahead and like, subscribe, share. <laughs> oh my god, <laughs> no! Talk and, and comment. With I your, bet you, with I your bet you wife, wanna tell your with story. Your wife. <laughs> Y'all no, do together. no, don't do it together. We, uh -uh, no, I'm tired of them lying. No, uh -uh. don't do it together. Listen, listen, she already like, share, subscribe, okay? <laughs> All you got to do is like, share, subscribe. <laughs> but your ass better not comment because then she going to know. <laughs> I don't have no She going to see your comment. People don't need them problems. They, it's, listen, it's a headache. <laughs> if y'all fight online, they're just going to get up our, uh, what's that shit called? <laughs> Document. Wait, Views, what? Algorithm. Algorithm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't fight it out. I mean, talk it out. Talk, yeah, online. we're talking pink. Hey. Talk in pink. It's all love. Right. All I gotta <laughs> say is if you're married, if you're a guy, don't waste that girl time. Just let her go. But it could go both ways. I mean, women, yeah, women, can, women, women do, do yeah, women do the same things. I have I had a friend that that girl was wild. Like, <laughs> but he was okay. I mean, he I think he knew and he accepted it. And he was okay. Oh, he had a little dick. So, I mean, all maybe he, that's what All he was. did was say pussy. Mm -mm. I don't know. And she had to go out and find that. Maybe that's wrong that arm. Because it was just a little confusing. Just that's like how saying. their dynamic was. Like, I mean, they even tried the whole, like, swinger thing where, you know. Yeah, he definitely he'll, had a little dick. He'll go fuck the, um, you know, the other, the other the wife. Yeah. And then the husband will go, you know, fuck her. And then, and I guess he got uncomfortable because he'll be in there playing the PlayStation, and the husband come, the other other husband comes, like, "Hey, I'm here to fuck your wife." Like, it's just, it's, uh, it was weird. Tell it was dick. weird. I'm it was, it was crazy. Wife. So, and can I you guess tell me so I can leave. It was crazy. So it's just like they were just, he was in there playing Madden, and you know, he's in there knocking her down. And I mean, I think he, I think she told me that he came in there and stopped it whenever. I guess she felt, he felt, or he heard her. I guess being too into it. I'm like, well, what? Like, <laughs> but you saw him come in. What did you yes, think he yes, was coming to do? Didn't make sense. Uh, I guess he didn't want the romancing, like, wow. like sex. I wonder he what wanted, guys really he think. He wanted like happened. porn star sex, like get it and go. Like that's what he wanted. I guess I don't know. That, that's it a, was confusing. That's, I wanted that's to. That I wanted PTSS. to do it. I wanted to. I wanted, <laughs> what? 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 Post traumatic <laughs> sex <laughs> syndrome. Post traumatic sex syndrome. Yeah, okay, mask yeah. To come in the fuck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. But that's it was weird. Up. It was like really. I was like, damn, he okay with that? Like, I wanted to be in a situation like that. I mean, I was before, mm -hmm. but a swinging I, uh, relationship. Um, I, I just wanted to be with women, and he would bring the women. Yeah, I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. I'm not, like, uh, you know, in with the whole wife swap, you know, husband swap thing, because it's kind of weird. Like, I I don't know. I mean, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. But, <laughs> you know. Ask your question, Rach. You have a question. Ask it, man. I'm thinking. We got uh, two. I mean, I, I, oh, we got two minutes. Um, 
I, 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 I feel like I want. I think that's one of the reasons why I don't want what? to get married. Oh, okay, because you don't want to be exclusive. <laughs> no, I just. Well, I know there are a lot of married couples who are. You know, they bring girls in, and you know, they keep it. Prof, you know, prof, however professional you may be <laughs> doing that, but you know, they keep it. They stick to the script, and you know. And they have fun. What and I think it, every marriage, script, you, you have to come to an agreement, like, on everything. Even that. Yeah. You know, being with other people or other partners. Or mm. other, yeah. So you can bring that into it. But the thing is, but when you have feelings get involved, that's where everything just But that, here's the thing. And who involves the feelings? Like, who said bring that It shit? just happens. You know? Like, it just happens. A nut is a nut, though. How you fall no, in love from a nut? No, a nut is not a, just a nut. You you should know that from a experience. Nut is just a nut. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> now, but it just happens, you know. Maybe you know, hit that spot right. And you just, you know, hey, I like want this all the time. <laughs> like I don't know. Wow. Like, <laughs> like, what, who said it was? Some comedian said if you hit that spot, you sound like you're barking like a dog or something. I don't know, but we squirt. But yeah, we <laughs> do. <laughs> but or just how he make you feel. Maybe you just never had that happen. But hey, that's, that's the thing. I don't you, know. you, you don't. You don't have to. I mean, that's there's there's too much involved then mm -hmm. on how somebody makes you feel. Mm -hmm. If it's just sex, then let it just be sex. And that's where it needs to be understood, and that's when people need to be honest. Like, correct. Hey, this is all I want. All that's I want it. is sex. That's all. I don't need you texting me throughout the fucking day. I don't need you texting <laughs> me in the morning. Good morning. Get the f what? No, I actually did that brain. too. It's I on Thursday. Did that to a guy, and he got mad because I was just like, okay, so like, uh, what are we? Are we like, you know, cool? Where we can? I love talk, when that talk about acts in the know, beginning. Yes, I like that too. So I asked him, I'm like, oh, I'm are we cool? Okay, or what? He was just like, huh? Possible. We are human beings. No, it is. No possible. way. There's I no way you can be a robot. Okay. No. No, it is. I literally. You cannot stick to a, a script of one thing or two things whatever however you, you think can tell you me can. what it is right now though exactly like, at least do that I've, and I've, then, I've done because this before shit transition you grow and you no. that's when we communicate you exactly me like if oh, remember we said we wasn't to... gonna get into a relationship now you so you have to ask those relation. questions up front like what if this thing grows into something no, else? are no, you ex receptive to that no. In the beginning, I just want to sign this right contract. Now. This is only <laughs> Monday, Wednesday, Thursday. That's it. And if you uh, violate the contract, PM, that's it. If you violate the contract, if what the are your contract consequences? If the contract changes, I will slide it across here. You need to ink your initials, and this is what it is now. Every time it changes, it needs to be communicated because both yeah. people who decides to change the contract. <laughs> the paper. You have 30 days and then uh, if a change is going to happen you it happens but I it's think like a change, lease agreement okay i think the change happens when something happens though like if somebody Seasons change catch, every year catch it's Philly, gonna change or if you see someone without with someone else that's when you're like okay shit's changed so no i've literally this? been in a, a situation ship mm -hmm. i was dealing with this person i literally had conversations with him on like and he would tell me hey i'm going out on a date i'm like if I see him after that, how was your date? I like, would want that. I, I'm, like, I I'm, like, want I'm that. like, let me let me see the picture. And I'm thinking he, he's not going to show me a picture, but I would get pictures. He would tell me how the date was. And people were like, you don't want to know if he's fucking. That's not, I don't want to know that because I will want that's not that. my business. I would want that If so he wants bad. to communicate that with me, that's fine. But our situation is only this, this, and this. I started off as, I. this is a friendship first. Mm -hmm. The friendship rolled into, and then... And then, so see, you see it change. Well, maybe you just don't it want changed. the relationship part. Because me personally, I don't want the relationship part. I just want you know companionship. Somebody I can be cool with that has a penis. That's it. That's all I want. That's it. That's it. That's all I want. <laughs> That's all I want. They make it so difficult. Like I'm like God difficult. Damn. Like what? God damn. <laughs> and on that note, no, I'm serious. They make it difficult for no reason. I'm so, like, it, it is always difficult. Who is more honest? Women. <laughs> Everything is difficult. Everything. Oh, so, <laughs> pinkies, don't forget to tell your friends to like, subscribe, share. Mm -hmm. We have TJ from the Thick Ass Vegan over Eww. here. Don't forget to visit her page. You know, Please. come send us a shout out. Instagram, thickass.vegan. Please uh, follow me. What, uh, subscribe to the YouTube channel. Yes, it's been, it's been a pleasure. I love this conversation. It, I love it. Y'all gotta invite me. Y'all gotta invite me again. Y'all gotta will come. come on. You will come definitely back. come Hell again. Yeah. Definitely come back. Um, hopefully my body will be you know smaller. It will. <laughs> it, it, will. Will. it will. Positive affirmations. Affirmations. Right? Yes.
the affirmations. <laughs> Don't forget to donate to our Patreon. Mm-hmm. Don't forget to visit our website. Don't forget, women are the shit. Talkingpink.com. Go buy some merchandise. Yep. And oh, okay. uh, <laughs> <laughs> cash out me. I got to pay for this sea moss. You said semen? Ca- cash app you? Oh, I was like, that, wait a minute. I'll okay. buy some of that. I'll buy okay. it. I'll buy it. You buying semen? I'll buy it. Okay. I put wait, it you, buy, you told them to cash app you. Now you buying semen? I she can buy semen. cash app me so I can buy, buy the, the semen. The sea moss. <laughs> <laughs> Girl, you gotta be correct. <laughs> politically correct. <laughs> because they be like, man, I'm gonna expect that from Rachel. I ain't expect that from Don't me. forget to visit our website. Mm-hmm. Like I said, uh, like us on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, TikTok. Mm-hmm. I don't know. That's why we think that's, okay, that's a dance. I know. <laughs> that's my TikTok dance. Robot. <laughs> <laughs> and we will see you next week. Yes. Thanks to our guest TJ from Thick Ass.